Hello, Divination, and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to stack sticky headings on scroll for unique anchor link navigation with Divi. This is the final result we're aiming to achieve. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. All right, so the first thing we need to do is to create a brand new page. So I'm gonna come over here, click on add new. We need to give this page a name. So I'm just gonna call this anchor link navigation, use Divi Builder. So for this, we're going to choose a pre-made layout. So I'm going to click on Browse Layouts. And the layout we need is for meal kits. So let me search for it here. So I'm going to go with um, the recipe page. So I'm going to select that, use this layout. All right, so our layout has been imported to our page. So the next step now is to go in and delete the path that we don't need. So I'm going to start off with uh, this one here, the dumplings. So I'm going to delete the row. I'm going to move on to the next one, delete this one as well. So basically what we just have left here is the main hero area and also this one here, the um, step one. Now let's create a second row. So to uh, insert our row, I'm going to click on this plus button and the layout we're going to go with is this one right here. So I'm going to select it and then I'm just going to close here. So what I'm going to do now is to um, copy this content here and add it on to the bottom there. So we're going to do a shortcut and that is to uh, select multiple things at the same time. So I'm going to come over here, hold down the command key. I'm going to click, click on to the next item here. Don't forget to copy the modules and then over here on the bottom, right click, paste modules. Okay, so it looks like they're not in order. I'm just going to drag and drop it here like that. Okay, so what we need to do as well here is to move our text over here and leave uh, just the, the steps. So I'm going to duplicate this, drag this to the top. And I'm also going to grab the description like that. And all I need to leave here is just step one. So I'm going to go into my settings and get rid of this extra text right like that and save. So I've got step one here and then I have my description over to the right. So let's go into our text settings. So I'm going to click here on this gear icon, go to design and just making sure we are on the right heading. So here we are on heading four. So what we're going to do here is to make sure we set to bold, all caps, and we also need to center this. Now over here on the sizes, we're going to set this to 15 pixels. And for our letter spacing, three is fine. And for our line height, we're going to set this to 2 EM. So next, we're going to come over here to spacing. So what we're going to do here is just to make sure that on the top here, we set our bottom margin to zero and then our top padding to 10. Now let's go to our rounded corners. We're going to set this to three. So just bump this up to three. Now let's go over here to the advanced tab. So over to the advanced tab, uh, we need to uh, go to our settings here for our sticky position. So for our sticky, we need to go to scroll effects. Stick to top and bottom is what we need to select. And for the desktop here, so we need to make sure desktop is selected. Let's start with 150 pixels. Now over here, our sticker limit, let's uh, limit, limit this to the section. And we also need to do the same for the bottom sticky limit. Set this both to a uh, section. Now we also have offset surrounding uh, sticky elements. Let's say no to that. And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna come back over here to our content because we need to add our sticky background color. So I'm going to go to background and now we have the sticky icon, making sure the sticky tab is selected. We're going to add our color. Now, if you want to use the same color that I'm using throughout this tutorial, I will leave a link to the post in the show notes below. Okay, so that's my sticky color right there. Now there's something I forgot to do and that is to adjust my text here. So this should be heading four. So we're going to make sure it's all caps. So now let's head over back to the background. I'm not sure why that color is not showing. But anyway, on the advanced here, we're going to fix that in a minute. Let's go to our position. And for our Z index, we're just going to put a crazy high number here because we want to make sure that this is right at the top. 
So for now, we're going to save. So what we're going to do is we're going to need more content when we scroll. So let's just duplicate this a few times. So we're going to do this three times. Okay, and then we're just going to drag this below the image. So I'm just going to bring this up like that. So this is just so that we have enough content to work with. So now, once we have this all set, in fact, we need to remove this uh, step 01 on this one. So let's go in and get rid of that and just make sure we don't have any spaces. Okay, great. So we're going to save that. And now that we have uh, customized this, it's time now to uh, duplicate our content. So we are going to duplicate row one like that. So now here we can see we have the content similar to how we set it up. Oh, so in fact, <laughs> this color here will come on the background once it becomes sticky. So I can see now the colors in the background. Uh, initially, I was like, huh, why is this not working? But now I can see that it's working because it has to be uh, once it's stuck at the top. So let's continue here. Now, this is going to be step two. So let's go in and label that. Step number two, like that. So we also need to create our sticky uh, options for this. So I'm going to come over here to advanced, uh, scroll effects, making sure stick to the top uh, and bottom is selected. This time, this one here needs to be 50, okay, for, for the top offset. And for the bottom offset, this needs to be 100. And then over here, you just need to make sure that offset surrounding uh, sticky elements is set to off. And then for our Z index, we need to uh, go back to position and just make sure that this is a higher number. So this is going to be, let's put 10,000 in there. We're going to save that. Now we need to duplicate the second row. So let's go in and do that. So this is the one we need to duplicate. I'm going to go ahead and do that. All right. So now it's time to work on step number three. So we have step number two here. This is the duplicate we're working with now. So I'm going to go in and amend this to step three, like that. Now let's go to our sticky options. We're going to come over here to advanced, scroll effects. And then over here now, top offset needs to be 100. So we're going to go in and change that. And then on the bottom here, it's going to be 50. And now let's add our Z index. So we're going to set this to 10,002. Then we're going to save. Now we need to duplicate row number three. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to change this to step number four. And then over here on the advanced, this time we are going to change this to 150. And for the bottom offset, this is going to be zero. And then finally, over here on the position, we need to set this to a thousand. All right, so I think we have everything in place now. I want to save that. So what we need to do next is to go in and set all our row one, column one, Z index. So let's start with um, coming over here. So in fact, the reason why these Z indexes have to be in place is because things won't look right when we start working on this. So let's go to uh, column row one, column one, which is right here. So I'm going to go into the settings. So row one, column one is this one. So let's go to the advanced position. And for our Z index, let's set this one here to 20. I'm going to save that. Save one more time. Move on to column two, which is this one here. I'm going to click on this gear icon to go into our row settings. Go to column one, advanced position. And this time, this one here is going to be 19 going to save that. Save one more time. Moving on, we need to go to column three. So we're going to select our row. And then we're going to go into advanced position. So just continue adding them. So we started off with 20. So it goes to 19, 18, and then 17. Okay, so we've gone ahead, we've added our, all our positions. So the next step now is to add our CSS IDs. 
So for this to make things easier for me, I'm just going to use the layers because it looks like I have to go in and click so many things in here. So uh, I'm going to come over here to instructions uh, because this is our first section, which is right here at the top. So I need these four rows that I'm working with it because as you can see, this here is the footer. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to start with uh, row one. So I'm going to click here on this gear icon to go into our row settings. And what we need to do here is to add a CSS ID. So I'm going to come over here to advanced and I want to come over here to ID and classes. So here the CSS ID needs to be set to one. It's very important that we do that. Okay, so now that we've set that to one, we're going to close that. Next, we need to open up this row because we need to go into column one, which has our step one. Click on this gear icon. So we're going to come over here and we need to link this. So I'm going to click here on link. And you can see here, we need to add a hash one. So what you need to do is to do the same for row two, row three, and row four, and then go into the steps and just add one, two, and three. So let me just show you quickly. So this one here is step one in column one. So let's uh, collapse that. Let's go to row two, column one, and in step two. So if we go to our link here, you can see here it says two. So that's what we need to do until we get to four. Now let's test and see if this is working. So I'm going to save this. Exit the Visual Builder. Save and exit. Okay, so we're just going to come over here. So if I click on two, it now takes me to two. If I click on three, it takes me to three and so on. So as you can see, this is now working really cool. So you can try it out, see how this one works for you. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.